Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our live. I am Heather and we come to you live each and every day, Monday through Thursday, starting at 9 a.m. and going on all the odd hours. So 9, 11, 1, 3, 5. Um, and then on Fridays, we're here at 9 and 11. So we come to you live each and every day so you so we can talk luminous. So we can talk about everything that we have to offer, what it does, how to do it. Um, we know a lot of people watch the infomercial and are interested in it and want to know more about it and want to see it and all that. So we always go over the beginning, the starter kit, your um, your practice kit, your getting ready kit. So we always go over that. And so we're still going to do that. But we are going to talk about skincare today and go over some of the products um, that we have. And so let me show you real quick our start, one of our starter kits. This is the Icon. Um, we also have the Icon Pro and the Legend. And they're all operated the same, which is great because what I'm telling you to do for one, you can do for all of them. And then it comes with the two, you see two large bottles of foundation. And what's great about that is you heard me call it the practice kit. And that's what we want, want you to do is practice. The more you practice, the more you're going to love it, the better you're going to be. Every time you pick up your stylist, you're going to learn something and it doesn't take long. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but if you keep practicing, you will have it down. Um, it does come with a bottle of love and a bottle of blush. Then the blush is super high pigmented. It will bloom, as we say. Uh, it does intensify a little bit. And so there are ways you can put that on to help um, not have it bloom as much. So I can t we can talk about little tricks. Um, what we also want you to do is right below here. Um, when you get it out of the box and you're practicing, you plug it in. That's the only thing you have to do. When you turn it on, there's air that comes out. And so with the air, you are just, you literally can hold it four finger widths away and move this around so you can feel the air. Um, what that's going to tell you is wherever you feel the air is where the makeup's gonna go. So it takes that guesswork out of it um, and it's very precise. It's not gonna get into your hair, into your makeup or to your um, you know, hair and earrings and all that. It is super precise. And so just playing with the air, feeling that all over your face, that's practicing. Then you can put water in here and start pulling back on that trigger. You want to pull back on the trigger very lightly. Um, you know, it's we're barely gonna pull back on it. Um, and because you're letting a little bit of makeup out. This is not traditional makeup, so don't expect to put it on like traditional makeup, right? Hello, Candy. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you? All right, so I'm actually putting on a headband because we're going to talk skincare. Um, and, you know, it's always important, I feel, to talk about skincare because we do have some amazing skincare. Hello, Amber. How are you? Um, we do have some amazing skincare um, and we got to keep, we got to take care of it. We got to have to take care of our skin, right? If you're taking care of your skin, we do have less to cover. Um, and so you are able to kind of treat it before putting makeup on it. But the fact that we're not touching our face of doing our makeup is such a plus to begin with. The first thing I want to talk about is the bamboo polish. This is awesome along with our super fruit cleanser. And this, I, I now do the bamboo polish like two to three times a week. The super fruit cleanser I use every single day. Um, remember with these, they're not a makeup remover. So I do what I call the double wash. Um, where I'll wash my face. If I'm using the bamboo polish, I'll wash my face with the super fruit cleanser and then go in with the bamboo polish and really get in there and exfoliate all that away. Um, if I'm just using the super fruit cleanser, then I'll do the double wash where I'll use it one time and then use it again to make sure that I am getting all the gunk off. Um, and then we have some different masks. We have this um, oxygenation mask. And then we also have the detox mask and both are amazing. Um, you know what I wanted to check though? Hold on one second. I'll go ahead. I'll talk about the uh, detox mask. This is the detox mask. It 
when you pump this out, it kind of looks like those charcoal mask, but it's super, it's not as, um, almost said harming because <laughs> some of those charcoal masks look so severe and so like deadly to your skin. Um, you just need to put on a nice little pass. You don't need to, you know, build this up where it's just like solid, you know, black. It, you can do it where it's uh, kind of a grayish color and get that everywhere. And then I leave this on for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, it's great to do, like if you're doing it at night, um, a lot of times I'll go in early, you know, clean my face, um, wash it, and then put this on, and then I can do whatever, whether it's cook dinner, um, you know, hang up clothes, whatever the case may be. And then before I'll just get in the shower um, and rinse that off, and I can rinse that off with some warm water, um, or if you're not getting in the shower, if you're doing it in a different way, you could always just wet a, a warm washcloth and take it off that way. Uh, doing it with a warm washcloth is really going to one, set your pores and take that off. And the washcloth also will exfoliate as you're taking the, the makeup or the, the mask off. Now this mask will stay creamy. It's going to stay, my face just looks kind of dirty right now. Um, it'll stay creamy, very moisturized. You might even feel it start the detoxing. So it, it, it smells to me, it smells very sexy. I love the way it smells. Um, and, but it, you'll start, you might feel it, um, a little bit. Um, when you take your mask off, there might be a little bit of redness, um, but it's okay that it'll dissipate, uh, very shortly. So it, it won't, um, that won't last. Um, I feel with the detox, it like gets the, the blood flowing, uh, and kind of gets it moving. And then you just are going to feel very fresh. Um, um, and again, I just love that smell. I love the smell. So then I can go back and remove it right now with my wipe. Oh, but I love that smell. And if I was at home, I would do my neck as well. Um, that's what I was checking. Candy, is it? Um, it is available. That's what I was going to go check. Um, I would do my entire face, like do my neck as well. Um, I would probably, you know, really pull back my hair so I'm not getting it everywhere. Um, and make sure to wipe it off. It'll be, you know, it would be a lot easier if I could just have a warm washcloth, put it straight on my face and be done. Then you can see a little bit of redness, but you'll notice that it will dissipate very quickly. All right. So now I'm going to take, which one is this? This is the Define It Neck Cream. And guys, don't forget about your neck. It's white. And to me, this smell <laughs> smells very spa-ish. And I'm going to rub it up and I even put some on my, on my face, on your decollete, make sure you get it. I'm a side sleeper. And so it's super important to make sure that you are moisturizing and, and treating your neck and decollete. Um, cause that, you know, just how we talk about, um, pulling on our face is creating more wrinkles and crinkles. Um, uh, Jacqueline, it should say out of stock. Like it won't let you add it to your cart if it's out of stock and it should say out of stock. Like if you click on something, it should pop up that it's out of stock. But let me know if it's not doing that. Uh, did y'all see the new website? Isn't it gorgeous? Um, so then we also have, the, um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, the porcelain. So this porcelain is something, or the M1 primer is something you can do at night. 
Um, I sometimes like doing this at night because um, I usually like to sleep with a heavier moisturizing feel like an actual cream, like the neck. Um, but this feels like a spa day, especially after the detox mask, there's a cooling feeling. And then being able to spray on Um, oh, about the new site. Yes, we are very excited about that bad boy. So this it's colorless. Um, it is a little denser. So, you know, you are going to pull back harder on that trigger, but it's colorless and it's okay. But just feeling that around, it's also a great way to practice. I can get it under my eyes on my forehead. and everywhere I need that extra moisture. And so feeling that feels amazing. And then just doing it as a spa treatment, um, it's pretty cool. And you can just get all of that nice and moisturized. Now I'm out. So I did several drops because if I'm doing this at night, doing it right before I go to bed, I want a lot of moisture. And so I could even, oh, it feels really good right now. Um, so my, it's on, as you can tell, like it's not dripping down my face. It actually will stay on and get in there to more to moisturize your face. Now you can, you know, move it in if you want, but like on my forehead, it's already in. If I did a little bit more here, you know, I could move it around that way. Um, if you wanted to, uh, but really you wouldn't have to even touch it, uh, because it will go in there and get moisturized get moisturized. All right. So if you have the M1 primer, if you have the porcelain, you can practice with that. Just know um, that it is a little denser. So you do pull back harder on that trigger, but it is a great way to feel how the airbrush will feel and moisturize your face all at once. Um, and then even if you wanted to use the porcelain M1 primer before airbrushing, maybe, I, you know, I wouldn't have sprayed so much. I would spray a little bit less on the moisturizer primer, maybe a few drops to in certain areas. And then I can go straight into airbrushing. You can go straight into uh, doing your makeup if you're doing it, if you're using that in the morning or whenever you're getting ready. So, um, Oh yay. You survived the storm. Yay. All right, guys. Hey, we're going to be back. We'll be back. This was the 11. I know y'all were excited to see Renee back in action today. She will be back at the one um, and then I'll take you through the afternoon at the three and the five. And so we will start doing some makeup at the three and the five guys. Let me know if there's something you want to see. Let me put my email up here real quick. Um, if there is something you guys want to see done, um, whatever the case may be like Heather put on eight shades of eyeshadow or have, you know, whatever it is, whatever you want to see, we are here for you. You know, we always like to cover the basics because we know that there's so many people out there that are interested in it. So we always want to answer those questions. Um, and if you were with me at the five yesterday, we had somebody on Facebook that was like, I didn't like this and was, you know, stating her opinion. And I love that, guys. I love that. But that's how important it is to to go back to the basics each and every time because we know there's so many people out there that are interested and I don't want them to do it the wrong way and not appreciate it and not understand Luminous. They have to know there's a learning curve. They have to know how to use it and we give them those steps each and every time. So on that note, if there are products you want to see or different ways of putting it on, let me know and we can definitely put that in our live chats. Um, yesterday was great. It was great, but I love that. And it's not, I mean, of course they're entitled to their opinion, 
but 100% they're not giving it the chance. They're not doing it the right way. So how can you judge a product if you're not putting it on the right way? And I'm telling you, like I 100% will tell you, you'll love it if you put it on the right way. <laughs> so anyway, all right, guys, we will see you later. You have Renee up next at one, and then I'll be with you three and five. All right, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.